Welcome everyone, Apple has released the brand new iPadOS 15.4 update to all iPads which received iPadOS 15. In this video, I'm going to go through what is new with this update and whether or not you should be upgrading your iPad to this software. So first of all, universal control is added to the iPad. So what on earth is universal control? Essentially, you can connect one keyboard and one mouse to, let's say, your iPad and you can use that same keyboard and mouse to control your MacBook at the exact same time. So let's say my mouse was on the iPad home screen. Well, I could do is if I dragged it off the iPad home screen, it would go onto my Mac itself. So that's actually pretty darn cool. And that is introduced with iPadOS 15.4. I'm assuming you would need to upgrade your macOS software to the latest in order to utilize that feature on the Mac as well. Next, inside of emojis, there are brand new emojis which are available to use in the iPadOS 15.4 update. Not really too important, but if you do care about emojis, there you go. Now, if you use FaceTime, there is a feature known as SharePlay, and SharePlay sessions can be started inside of apps directly. So let's say you start a FaceTime call, and when you have that FaceTime call started, you're in the picture-in-picture, -picture, so you can see the person on the corner. You can start a SharePlay uh, session by opening up the app directly, and um, that will only work, do keep in mind, if the application is supported, but most apps do support SharePlay. SharePlay is essentially like, you know, screen recording your screen, like sharing it with, you know, whoever is on the FaceTime call. So that is a pretty darn cool feature with iPadOS 15.4. Next, if you have the A12Z Bionic chip or later, which is really weird because the A12X is, you know, the same thing. But obviously, this is a stunt by Apple. But Siri can provide time and date information while offline on your iPad Pro with A12 Zero later. So I don't know why A12X isn't supported when they have literally the same performance for just one extra GPU core on A12Z, which gives you a one point percent better performance that's obviously done intentionally as you know a bit of a, an insult to be honest in my eyes siri now also produces additional voice options so usually the typical siri voice you know it like the female american but now you have extra options with the brand new update of ipadOS 15.4 now there are also some other changes so volume controls can be set to adjust as you rotate your ipad this only works on the ipad 5th gen or later which is like that budget ipad ipad mini 4th gen or later and ipad air 2 ipad air 3 ipad air 4 and ipad pro not mention of the uh, ipad air 5 which is kind of weird maybe that's just kind of just comes with the ipad i really don't know like how custom email domains can now be managed inside of the settings application safari web page translation that supports full italian and traditional chinese inside the podcast apps there are now episode features for your seasons uh, for played uh, tracks unplayed tracks saved and downloaded episode as well the news app offers uh, enhanced discovery of audio content in a today feed and the audio tab the camera inside of the keyboards can now be used to add text to notes and reminders. The shortcuts app now adds support for tags inside of reminders. Say passwords can now include your own notes inside of settings. There are also bug fixes which are introduced with iPadOS 15.4. So the keyboard may insert period between type numbers. So period referring to a full stop, that's now fixed. News widgets in today view may not open articles when tapped. That is fixed with 15.4. Photos and videos may not sync to iCloud Photo Library. Of course, that's now fixed. Speak screen accessibility feature may quit unexpectedly within the book apps. That is also fixed. And live listen may not turn off when switched off in the control center. That is also fixed with iPadOS 15.4. So that's everything new with iPadOS 15.4. Should you upgrade your device to the brand new operating system, I would recommend it unless you care about jailbreaking because of course that brand new jailbreak is coming out in the next couple of weeks for iPadOS 15.1 and older. So just keep in mind guys, if you're on 15.2 or later, you might as well just upgrade, but you know, otherwise stay on the current phone while you're on if you're waiting for the jailbreak. If you don't care about jailbreaking or maybe you don't know what it is, just upgrade your software. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.